Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's gonna be exciting. We're gonna be unboxing something really special. I'm so excited. So I made a purchase from Omnilux on Father's Day. There was like a discount. I saved roughly 70 Canadian dollars because it was like 50 USD off. And so I caved and got myself a mask. I decided to buy the Omnilux men mask and I will tell you why in a second. But I did place the order on June 9th, 2024 and it is June 14th today and I was expecting it two weeks from June 9th but it arrived five days after I placed the order so that was really really convenient for me also since I do live in Canada I asked them if I had to pay any duties and they said they have a shipment center in Ontario and so that is why I didn't have to pay any duties but if you are outside of Canada and the United States I suggest contacting them via their contact center you can just chat with them online just to clarify if your country will have those duties. Originally, the Omnilux men cost $388.64 USD. With a Father's Day discount of roughly $50, I was able to get it at $337.89. Shipping was free, but then tax roughly estimated to 40 bucks. So all in all, I paid $378.44. I did use a firm to pay in increments. You can pay four times. I will be linking their website down below. And no, I'm not sponsored, unfortunately. Currently on the Omnilux website, there are actually three different masks that they sell. So all of these masks seem to have the same amount of LED bulbs, but they vary based on the wavelengths that they offer. The first and the most popular one is the Omnilux Contour Face. The specifics for the Contour Face is that it offers 633 red and 830 near infrared. The other mask they sell is called Omnilux Clear. This is more for acne prone users. And and the reason why they target acne prone users is because of the blue light that it features. So the Omnilux Clear has 415 blue and 633 red. So I do have acne but it's not as severe as before. So I was really thinking of getting a more targeted wand version for my blue light therapy. The last mask that they sell, which is the mask that I have, is called Omnilux Men. Apparently men have 25% thicker skin and that's why they added a wavelength on top of the contour face. So earlier I said the contour face has two wavelengths. It has a 633 red and the 830 near infrared. The men, however, have three wavelengths, 633 red, 830 near infrared, and 172 near infrared infrared so it's actually like deeper it penetrates deeper then that's why i bought that now i want to direct you to a website that i read that led me to choosing which led mask i wanted to get because i was looking all over the place i was wanting the dennis gross one and it was like a hard shell it looked really nice it was by a doctor i also wanted to get the cure version because dr lee loves it they promote it that one also has like an app feature where you can even edit what bulbs and what color go in which area of your face which i thought was cool but after reading this article i decided the omnilux men was the one i would want for my skin i actually leave that link down below it's called goals to get glowing that article changed my perspective on led masks it is a very long article it actually features almost every mask that I was wanting to buy along with very very detailed research, wavelengths, data, blue light and all the other lights, irradiance or power density. The author of this blog just put everything together and made it very easy to read. Now why did I choose not to get the clear version that had the blue light if I get blue and red light versus the men which only delivers red and near infrared? Well with the blue light I don't have acne everywhere so I don't really need that blue light everywhere on my skin and that is why I'm looking for a more handheld device that targets with that blue light therapy. Let us open this baby up because I am so excited to see this and I am so excited to use it. Of course I'll be making a review on this. It'll take some time because I want to do couple months review but you will have to wait a few months before that video comes up. If you would like subscribe to my channel, like this video if you did and ding that notification bell and ding that notification bell to be informed when I upload and I hope to see you in that video. So the box looks like this. Omnilux is inside. So this is how it looks like. This is the Omnilux men. 
So you can see it's actually got a beautiful packaging. Slide the sleeve out and it's got some tape on the side to keep it secure. Okay, now for the grand reveal. Ta-da! So here it is. Wow. It feels smooth. It feels like silicone. I am excited to use this tonight. Ooh. So it actually comes with a bunch of stuff. You have the mask that has that USB cord right there. You have the care card and how to use card. And then you have a bunch of other things in here. The guide, some other manuals in the side. Ooh, you got a travel bag as well, which is nice. I didn't know you had a travel bag with this. So that's actually pretty convenient for traveling. You also have, I think this is like a charger and you have several different chargers depending on how your wall socket looks like and then this one which i believe i've seen this this is like the remote right because it says press and hold so i believe this is the remote that you can plug into your device the back is velcro the straps can be removed and this is how the inside looks like it does have a protective film that we can remove once we use it i'm not going to remove it just yet to be honest the only thing i am not happy about with the omnilux is I feel like the bulbs are a little bit too little. I wish there was more. Also, there was no bulb for the upper lip right here. So I feel like that's kind of like a, an issue that has to be addressed one day. The mask overall is so nice and it feels really expensive. Honestly, I'm scared about the Velcro. You know how Velcro is after constantly using it? It starts to like um, feather. So I'm curious how long it's gonna be before that happens. You'll notice this part is for your head. It's much bigger than this part which I guess is for your neck area so I guess you wear it like this and then you tighten it with the velcro like that so basically this is how it looks like so before using the mask step one is you charge the controller using the supplied cable and plug so this is the controller right here I'm gonna use the basic the classic two prong plug so I'm just gonna slide that in here until you hear a snap. This is a USB type C cable. So just plug it on one end and then you charge it like this. There's a light that shows up when you start charging it. So that is nice. And I'm assuming when it's fully charged, the third light will stop blinking. Okay, step two is once it's fully charged, all three lights will be illuminated. Detach the controller from the charging table. So once this is done, please note, do not charge the controller with the mask still connected. That's important. So make sure when you charge it, you don't connect that USB side to the mask and charge it at the same time. That is a no, no. We don't want to damage our $500. And step three, connect the mask to the other end of the controller. So that means this USB side, we can connect it to the mask and this makes it completely portable. You can actually like travel and go around, do stuff with this. This is fixed for 10 minutes. So after 10 minutes, it should stop. And the operating temperature is zero to 30 degrees. So if it feels like super hot on your skin, remove it. That's not a good sign. So what I like about this is it has a two-year warranty, which is great. It says when you carry out the treatment, you cleanse your face you exfoliate if you are if you have to basically just remove any traces of skincare so your skin has to be bare press the on and off button and it'll begin the 10 minute treatment for steps four five and six i will refer you to nighttime sahar because she will be trying this for the first time it is the end of the day we're about to where is my mask we're gonna try this baby out so my little portable bank thing is ready and fully charged and I'm gonna connect this to the USB port on that side. Pretty satisfying. I'm pretty excited. We're ready. The instructions basically say you have to use it before you put any product on. I just used a cleanser and dried my face. Let's move to step four. It should feel secure but not overly tight. So let's put this on. So it should feel secure, but not overly tight. This feels quite secure, but not overly tight. Activate the controller by pressing down on the button for one second. Each session is 10 minutes and your device will automatically shut off when the treatment is complete. Okay. So automatically I noticed that 
since the mask is flat, it does hurt a little bit because it doesn't reach this part of my chin so closely. But I don't think that's a problem. But yeah, that's what I automatically notice. Unlike the Dennis Gross and the Cure ones that are basically contoured to your face, this one is flat. The nose, it's already like flapping out. It doesn't like fold like this, which I think is ideal. And the chin is also a little bit outwards. Uh, it's not the most comfortable. The eyes, I do see a little bit underneath and over here, but I don't think that's a problem. Now looking down, I can see more red, so don't do that. So I'll catch you in 10 minutes and tell you about my experience. Okay, 10 minutes is up. Whew. I have to admit that nose part kind of, yeah, you can see it's a little bit red. I think I've set it too tight on my skin. My skin is a little bit red, but I honestly believe it's just because the mask was on it and not because of the LED lights whatsoever. It was actually pretty warm, not so warm, but you could feel that it gets warmer. It's not the most comfortable, but I guess it's just how you set it on your face. Maybe make sure it's not too tight. I will be making a video about my results so that will Will take a couple months because I'm very curious if this does work or does any changes to my skin. Thank you so much for watching everyone. I hope this video helped you and kind of showed you everything that you wanted to see and know about the Omnilux LED mask. This is not sponsored but maybe one day they will sponsor me. Manifest! I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like this video and comment down below what you'd like to see next and any tips and tricks or comments about the LED mask. If you bought an LED mask, what did you buy? Also ding that notification bell to be informed when I upload especially that video in a couple months showing you the results of my Omnilux journey and if you would like to support me further hit these videos here 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 and here and I hope to see you in my next video bye